Hello, everyone, and welcome uh, to the class of 2023 class night. Thank you all for coming. Uh, I'm Lucas Davis, the vice president of our class. And uh, before I introduce the next speaker, uh, I know about the pamphlet, the parting words will happen before the slideshow for filming purposes. And uh, now, uh, our class president, Dominic Dadda. How's it going, everyone? Uh, I would like to introduce someone very special to me. Mr. Tom McNeil, one of our guidance counselors here at our guidance department. Well, this works out well. Dom, you're very special to me, so thank you. Good evening, everyone. To the class of 2023, we are proud of you, each and every one of you, for what you've accomplished in the classroom, on the stage, on the playing fields, in the labs, and in the shops of mid Maine Technical Center. We're not only proud of what you've done, we're excited for what you're about to do. In a few minutes, we will be awarding $339,000 in scholarships in support of students continuing their education next fall. We'll be, yeah. We also, in a few moments, will be introducing to you two officers from our armed services who are here to recognize a few of your classmates who have taken the solemn oath to serve and protect our country. But before we do that, it's important that we honor the graduates who are going directly into the workforce in the fall. I promise you that we are equally proud of every student who's going directly to work as we are those who are choosing to serve our country in the military as we are those who are heading off to college. For those heading to work, our graduates will be, will be machining parts for your next refrigerator at Formtech, serving your next meal at Applebee's, caring for kids at Educare in Winslow Elementary School, helping sell your home at Summit Real Estate, walking your dog, building your new windows at Portland Glass, manicuring and maintaining your lawns at Lakeside Landscaping, keeping your grocery cart full at Hannaford, dressing mannequins at Kohl's, and serving up your very favorite ice cream at Giffords. To all of the graduates going directly to work, we thank you. We could not run our community without you and without your efforts. Finally, to all of you in the class of 2023, we are proud of you and your future plans. Best of luck to you. Uh, please welcome Staff Sergeant Christopher Niedermeyer with the United States Army who joins us tonight to recognize a student who has enlisted in the Army. How's everybody doing? All right, so tonight, um, first I'll be recognizing uh, a young man that I've been working with for over a year, right? Been a while. Um, young Mr. Dagnall back here, and then I will also be helping out some of the other armed forces that weren't able to get here tonight um, by recognizing their future soldiers as well. Um, Mr. O'Neill uh, actually called me this morning to lend a helping hand to the other service branches, um, and I quickly said yes, mainly because it's what the Armed Forces is all about, creating that brotherhood, that sisterhood, 
and willing to help a, a lending hand when needed, um, even if it's something or someone that you really don't know much about, right? Um, so as far as Dom goes, um, I actually say to my coworkers all the time, and I wish I said it more about more of my future soldiers, um, I wish that, that Dom was one, one of my soldiers, right? So if I were back and doing my regular job, I would love to have this young man as one of my own um, because I just think he is a truly outstanding individual, all right? Um, so without further ado, today um, I'm actually going to be acknowledging his promotion. It's going to be the first of many, I'm sure, from a private to a PV2 is what we call it, all right? So, uh, be it known by these present that Dominique Dank Dagnall is cited for exceptional assistance in the field of recruiting. This certificate is presented in recognition that these accomplishments have significantly benefited the United States Army. So, come on up. Moving on, so now we are going to acknowledge Nevaeh Duplissy, hopefully I said that right. Um, she recently decided to join the Maine Army National Guard, and they would like to give her a certificate, a certificate of achievement um, just to acknowledge that first step forward into her service. All right, um, so Nevaeh, if you could please come up. So there are many different awards and decorations that you can earn as a soldier in the United States Army. This is the stepping stone, right? This is the base of all awards. Um, it's called a Certificate of Achievement, and it's directly it's given directly to a soldier um, to acknowledge anything, really. Are they outstanding in their performance? Did they go above and beyond? That type of thing. So for enlisting into the main Army National Guard, this achievement is significant and reflects great credit upon you, the Maine Army National Guard Recruiting and Retention Battalion, and the United States Army, given this day, 5 June 2023. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, we have a young man who recently joined the United States Navy. His name is Zachary King. Uh, Zach, if you could come up. <laughs> Little backstory: I actually tried to recruit this young man about a year ago, um, and I was unsuccessful in those efforts. But I am truly glad that he chose, chose to join uh, a military branch in general. I, I think it's a great spot to start, um, you know, an adult life. So, without further ado, the United States Navy would like to give young Mr. King a letter of appreciation. All right. To all, to all who shall see these presents, greetings. Future sailor Zachary Aiden King has earned grateful appreciation for his unselfish, faithful and devoted commitment to the United States Navy. Although you are just beginning your Navy career, you already demonstrate the Navy's core values of honor, honor, courage, and commitment. On behalf of all Navy personnel, we wish you success during your Navy career. That is the end of my duties. Hey, congrats to all the seniors. All right, hope you all have a great adult life. Go Raiders, right?
pleased to welcome Sar Staff Sergeant James Goodwitz with the United States Air Force, who is here to recognize a student. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Staff Sergeant James Goodrich. Um, unfortunately, I got here a little late in school year, so I didn't get to speak with some of you and get to know you. Um, I'm all about being personal with people. I don't push people to join any kind of branch. So even if you want to just come up and talk to me about sports while you see me, um, by all means. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to recognize one of your peers for his work in the, over the school year. Um, I wish I had more of these to give out because I know there's a lot of bright young students here, but unfortunately, the Air Force only allows me one of these. So, if Lucas Stabbins, that's it, that's Stabbins. for the Math and Science uh, Achievement Award from the Air Force. It's presented to the student who has the highest combined GPA from Math and Science courses throughout the year. So if there's any juniors or anyone who will be here next year, hit the books hard, maybe I'll be here next year and give it to you. 2023 grads, good luck out there. Um, I wish you guys nothing but the best. I truly truly mean that. So, good luck. Go right here. I would now like to introduce Mr. Chris Pebble, our, assist, our, assistant, our assistant principal, who will be making several presentations. Thank you. Welcome everyone, parents, relatives, alumni, friends that get to come tonight and uh, join these seniors in uh, recognizing them for all that they've accomplished over the last four years. Uh, you've been a great support to them. Uh, I hope they recognize that and thank you for all of your support over these years. And um, again, what a great night to recognize our students. And one more to go, but uh, again, very proud of all of you, class of 23. Best of luck, um, you're all gonna do great, and Winslow High School is always here in the future. If there's things that you need, please feel free to reach out, and uh, we'll be glad to help you in any way that we can. So, before we go on with other awards and scholarships and so on, I'd like to keep in line with the uh, military recognition, if we could. Um, would Lacey Salanco come up, please? We would like to recognize Lacey as she is beginning the process of enrollment into the United States Navy. Uh, shortly after graduation, Lacey will be sworn in and begin the planning for her service. And because she isn't technically enlisted yet, she couldn't be recognized, but I think um, you know her dedication and service to the country certainly needs to be recognized here tonight. So thank you, Lacey, for your service, and the best of luck to you. Also, thank you to Zach, Dom, and Nevaeh. Thank you very much. At this time, I would like to introduce Stephanie Purnell on behalf of the Worthington Foundation and representing the George J. Mitchell Foundation. Please come forward. Stephanie Purnell. I am a branch manager for Kennebec Savings Bank right in Waterville. Um, I'm so happy to be here tonight to recognize some students with these scholarships. 
Um, MX Savings is a proud partner with the Worthington Foundation, um, and we're excited to present the scholarships for some of the graduating students of 2023. The Worthing Worthington Scholarship Foundation provides multi-year scholarships with values ranging from $6,000 to $17,000. Over the past 13 years, more than $18 million has been, graduate, has been granted to graduates of Maine high schools who attend partnering Maine colleges. This year, the Worthington Scholarship Foundation will grant 700 scholarships throughout 98 high schools in 13 counties in Maine, totaling about $10 million. The intention of this foundation is to increase the accessibility of college by reducing financial barriers, provide support of scholars to pursue college, and help minimize the risk of insurmountable student loan debt. The Worthington Scholarship Foundation is proud to partner with Winslow High School and congratulate this year's graduates. We look forward to supporting Winslow and the graduates in years to come. Congratulations to the entire Winslow School seniors of class of 2023, and please help me um, congratulate these 15 students that will be receiving the scholarship tonight. If you could all come up and stay up for a picture after, that'd be great. Um, our first recipient, Alana Carreros. The next is Andrew Cormier. Next is Alex Cruz. Dayton Dutel. Next, Tiana Ames. Pedro Garcia. Brianna Giroux. <laughs> Kylie Hernandez. <laughs> Haley Martin. Miles McIntyre. Jared Newgard. Hayden Trapp. Jackson Wagard. And our last recipient, Sabrina York. A little bit shorter on the front. <laughs> Maybe a free row. We gotta get an after job. Yeah, well, get up for you, Chill. Thank you. Woo!
we'll have several awards or scholarships this evening that will have multiple winners. So just like you did there, when you hear your name, please come up. And why not here to the right so they can get pictures and uh, you know certainly be recognized with your group. Up next, representing Waterville Rotary Club Noontime and the George Mitchell Foundation is Doug Carmen. Good evening. I'd first like, on behalf of the Waterville Rotary Club, to congratulate each and every one of you graduates of the class of 2023. You've been through one of the most challenging times that you'll have in your life uh, as we've gone through the uh, pandemic, and you should be very proud of yourself, as a lot of other people have already told you, I'm sure. The Rotary Club was formed on February 23rd, 1905 by Paul Harris, a Chicago lawyer, so professionals with diverse backgrounds could exchange ideas and form meaningful, long-life friendships. Today, Rotary International has over 46,000 clubs in almost every country in the world with over 1.4 million men and women members worldwide. One of Rotary's goals is to eliminate polio, which was found in 125 countries in 1988, but is now in only two countries in the world. The Waterville Rotary Club Mert Rowe Memorial Scholarship is given out by the New Time Waterville Rotary Club to a student from each of the four area high schools, including Winslow High School. Mert Rowe was a longtime member of the Waterville Rotary Club who exemplified Rotary's motto of service above self. To be eligible for this scholarship, the candidate must be accepted to an accredited college, university, or community college demonstrate a financial need, have at least a B average or equivalent in high school, and participate in community service. The scholarship is for $1,500. This year's winner of the Waterville Rotary Club Burt Rowe Memorial Scholarship for Winslow High School, who will be attending the Hudson University this fall is Alexis Trask. Representing the George J. Mitchell Foundation and class of 22 graduate, Vanessa Norris. Hi, my name is Vanessa Norris and I'm a Mitchell Scholar as well as a graduate of the class of 2022. The Senator George J. Mitchell Scholarship Research Institute awards scholarships each year to graduating seniors from every community in Maine. This year, there were more than 1,400 applications from across the state, resulting in a highly selective competitive process. The scholarship award amount is $10,000. In addition to this financial support, Mitchell Scholars are given access to an array of personal and professional development programs and resources. So please join me in congratulating this year's Mitchell Scholar from Winslow High School, Lucas Boucher.
Here to present the Maine Blue Collar Scholarship is Stephanie Roper. Good evening and congratulations to all of the 2023 graduates as well as tonight's recipients. Uh, my name is Stephanie Roper. I'm the Manager of Regional Operations for Central Maine Power and I'm proud to be here tonight on behalf of the Maine Blue Collar Scholarship Foundation. The foundation is comprised of business leaders across the state of Maine whose mission is to remove barriers for motivated individuals pursuing a career in the trades. Thanks to the foundation's generous contributions and commitment to the trades, we are able to award over $175,000 to 150 recipients this year alone. This scholarship is intended to help individuals who are gifted with the ability to work with their hands by covering educational costs and the purchase of tools and equipment to be used in the trades. CNP is proud to invest in Maine's future by partnering with the foundation to empower young people to build a rewarding career in the trades, which are the fabric of America and vital to the state of Maine. I wish, I wish each of you the best of luck as you head off to conquer your dreams, whatever that may be. And I'll now announce the recipients of the Maine Blue Collar Scholarship Foundation. The first of which is Alana Carrera. And the second of which is Jackson Wiegand. Next is representing Winslow High School, class of 1973, Lynn Rowden and Linda Roderick. Just think, everybody, in 50 years, you'll look like us. And I hope in 50 years you're all enjoying a reunion of some sorts to remember these special times at Winslow High School, just the way we are now. Our class raised a lot of money <laughs> to be able to give a scholarship this year in honor of our 50th class reunion. We asked the guidance department here to choose three students who were people that could really use a scholarship and be recognized in a special way. Uh, we don't know anybody, so we're very excited to meet you as you come up. And so I would like to first call Kiara Bayou. Bear with me, Aiden Esterline. And Dominique Dagnon. I don't know what they used to be, so we have to record this. And now to present the P 
Peter Bolduck Memorial Scholarship is Mr. Keenan. Very, very honored to be presenting this award. Um, it is someone who this class knew quite well, and someone that was very fond of this class. This scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior who is planning to attend a two or four year college program. This student has displayed excellent character and is being recognized for their hard work, dedication, as well as their spirit and perseverance. This year's scholarships are awarded to two individuals, Jared Newgard and Caleb Marquis. In your programs is also a write-up of many of the scholarships that we have some background in um, some of the requirements they have. So as we go through things tonight, we can refer to that. So we won't be reading through each one of those uh, outlines as we go. But um, the next up is the main principals award, and that is presented to Noella Pepin. Up next is Representative Searway presenting legislative sentiments. Well, it's awesome to be here, and uh, congratulations to all of you that are graduating this year. I wish the best for all of you. I think that uh, it's exciting to start a new venture. And, uh, you know, the, the key thing to success is go with this right here, your heart. You know, you'll be able to really succeed if you start going with what you care about. So uh, have fun with whatever you do. So I would like to start off, uh, we, you know, the state likes to recognize special individuals and so I'd like to, uh, first of all, read what the state has recognized this individual. And uh, it starts out as the state of Maine. Be it known to all, we the members of the Senate and the House of Representatives join in recognizing Noella M. Pepin. High School who is a recipient of the 2023 Principals Award for Outstanding Academic Achievement and Citizenship sponsored by the Maine Principals Association. We extend our congratulations and best wishes and be it ordered that this official expression of sentiment be sent forthwith on behalf of the 131st Legislature and the people of the state of Maine. Signed, Troy Jackson, President of the Senate. Derek Grant, Secretary of the Senate, Rachel Talbot Ross, Speaker of the House, Robert B. Hunt, Clerk of the House, and myself, Scott Searway, Belbian, and Dave LaFountain of Kennebec, and also Colleen Madigan of Waterville. Congratulations. <laughs> Individual, 
state of Maine, be it known to all that we, the members of the Senate and the House of Representatives, join in recognizing Jason Reynolds. extend our congratulations and best wishes and be in order that this official expression of sentiment be sent forthwith on behalf of the 131st legislature and the people of the Senate of Maine. Signed, Troy Jackson, Derek Grant, uh, Rachel Talbot Ross, Robin Hunt, and myself, David LaFound. Congratulations. <laughs> Service Award and the John Philip Sousa Band Award all go to Haley Martin. Jazz Award is presented to Alex Cruz.
the class of 1949 Trophy Cups are awarded to Jason Reynolds and Lucas Stevens. Senior Drama Awards are presented to Trey Gunzinger, Tiana Eames, Miles McIntyre, Morgan strasburg Asani, Max Daly, Kylie Hernandez, Lindsay Jason, Haley Martin, and Alex Darling. Brendan M. Batson Award is presented to Haley Martin. medals are presented to the following. Haley Martin, Noella Pepin, Morgan strasburg Bassani, Nevaeh Parker, and Jackson Wiegand.
The Director's Award for Chorus is given to Trey Gunzinger. Chapter of the Douglas, excuse me, the Fort Halifax Chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution Good Citizen Award is presented to Noella Pepin. Scholarship in the class of 1957 scholarship is awarded to Natanya Lilly. Cora in Everett 
B. Harris Scholarship and the Connected Credit Union Scholarship is awarded to Laney Bell. John J. Houston Memorial Scholarship, ABC of Maine, Riley Bully Award, and the Embark Scholarship is presented to Jackson Wingham. Everett B. Harris Scholarship is presented to Andrew Corby. <laughs> KBAC Leroy Blood Scholarship, Paul Maroon Hudson University Scholarship, is presented to Dayton Dutill. Mason Melmack Scholarship in the Winslow High School Class of 1988 Scholarship is presented to Max David. <laughs> the Lisa Cassidy Memorial Scholarship Waterville Women's Association Scholarship, Maine Savings Federal Credit Union Scholarship, Messalonsky Masonic Lodge 113 College Scholarship, Vassalboro Business Association Scholarship goes to Morgan Horton. Fish and Game Scholarship in the Class of 1957 Scholarship goes to Allie Kimball. <laughs> the Waterville Women's Association Olive Martin Award goes to Tiana Eames. <laughs> the Sappy Somerset Community Connection Scholarship in the Class of 1957 Scholarship goes to Jared Nugar. Sergeant Brett Pelock, Murphy, and Kathy Burns Scholarship is presented to Devin Lively. <laughs> Receiving the Virginia S. And Samuel P. Smiley Scholarship in the class of 1957 scholarship, Brianna Giroux. <laughs> the 
William Bowden Scholarship and the Embark Scholarship. It's presented to Michaela Demers. Scholarship in the class of 1957 scholarship goes to Jason Reynolds. Receiving the Winslow Education Scholarship and the Richard C. Hensby Scholarship, Isabella Fleury. is presented to Hayden Clement. <laughs> the Gene Haas Foundation Scholarship and Gene Haas Toolship receive, uh, recipient is Alana Carreros. <laughs> to Sabrina York. <laughs> the Waterville Masonic Achievement Award and the Mary Balama Maroon Healthcare Scholarship is presented to Emma Mishu. scholarship is presented to Morgan Strasberg Sons. The class of 2021 scholarship and the Waterville Women's Association Scholarship is presented to Alexis Trask. <laughs> Receiving the William Bowden Scholarship, Brayden Laramie. Scholarship goes to Hunter Lee. <laughs> the class of 1957 scholarship and the Mar Anderson Family Scholarship is presented to Kylie Hernandez.
the Hemans Demers Family Scholarship and Winslow Performing Arts Music Scholarship is presented to Haley Martin. Paul Maroon Scholarship is presented to Lucas Boucher. <laughs> the Class of 1957 Scholarship is presented to Dylan Bushard. The, 1950s, the class of 1957 scholarship and the Winslow Performing Arts Drama Scholarship is presented to Trey Gunzinger. Receiving the Class of 1957 Scholarship, Audrey Dolly. <laughs> the MMTC Robbie Libby Scholarship is presented to Alex Cruz. <laughs> the Embark Scholarship is presented to Kira Veyu. Student of the Year, the MMTC Engine 343 Memorial Award is presented to Lila Tutu. <laughs> Kenneth Eskelin Scholarship. Kenneth Eskelin was born in Winslow in 1924. He graduated from Winslow High School in 1941 and spent three years in the service. Mr. Eskelin studied avian medicine at Michigan State. He became nationally and internationally known for his work in developing and marketing of vaccines for the poultry industry. The former Maine Biological Laboratories, now Lanco Animal Health, on the China River are the results of Dr. Esplin's efforts. The late Dr. Esplin and his wife, Shirley, are well known for their generosity for scholarship and charitable giving. Dr. Esplin passed away suddenly while attending a benefit dinner at the Alphon Youth Center. Mrs. Esplin passed away peacefully at their home on October 10, 2017. This scholarship is presented to a graduating senior who is committed to pursuing a higher education in the field of biological sciences. The recipient this year is given a thousand dollar scholarship for a four year period and the winner is Max Damon. The Donald and Margaret Matheson Scholarships are awarded to graduates of Winslow High School 
who are furthering their education at a four-year accredited college. Donald and Margaret Matheson were born in Winslow. Donald was a 1927 Winslow High graduate and later graduated from the Coburn Institute and Colby College in Waterville. Their careers were in education, Mrs. Matheson focusing on foreign languages and creative writing. Mr. Matheson taught biology, was a coach, and headmaster. From 1958 until his retirement in 1972, Mr. Matheson served as the guidance director for Winslow High School. In addition, for 50 consecutive years, Donald Matheson was a state and track official and meet director. The Winslow High School track and field facility is named in his honor. He posthumously was in inducted into the main Runners Hall of Fame in 1992. Mr. Matheson passed away in 1984, and Mrs. Matheson died in 1994. The recipients are selected on the basis of character, scholarship, motivation, and need. The following students have been selected to receive a Matheson scholarship, all totaling $30,000. There are multiple recipients, so when you hear your name again, please come on up. Stand to my right so we can get some pictures and uh, certainly give you a round of applause for this award. So please come on up. Maddie Valancourt, Hunter Lee, Tyler Dow, Dayton Dutill, Andrew Cormier, Lucas Stevens, Lucas Boucher, Emma Mishu, Morgan Gordon, Haley Martin, Lady Bell, Isabella Fleury, Aaliyah LaCroix, Caden Trask, and Alexis Alex Cruz. Pedro 
Pedro Garcia. Xander Jagir. Hunter Gunning. Julian Hamilton. Kylie Hernandez. Raven Laramie, Katie Martin, Michael McCullough, Emma Mishu, Elena Morno, Stella Nutting, Nevaeh Parker, Noella Pepin, Trevor Pomeroy, Joni Vino and Jackson Meehan. Mrs. Littlefield is going to hand you the medal. 
We'll call everyone at once, and then we'll call them individually one by one. And parents, you can put the medals around your son or daughter's neck. First up, Lainey Bell. Lucas Boucher. <laughs> Natalie Bouget. <laughs> Andrew Cormier. Alex Cruz. Brooke Cunningham. Dom Dagnall. Tyler Dow. Woo! Emma Dow. GPA, but can't know the alphabet. <laughs> Dayton Dutel. Aiden Nestor. Izzy Fleury. Morgan Ford. Brianna Giroux. Kylie Hernandez. <laughs> Ali Kimball. Leah LaCroix. <laughs> Brayden Laramie. <laughs> Hunter Lee. Jimmy Lessa. Haley Martin.
Emma Michaud. Elena Borna. Jared Newgar. Noella Pepper. Andrew Poole. Let's go, Andrew. Jason Reynolds. Woo! Lucas Stavens. Morgan Strasburg Rosani. Yeah. Alexis Trask. Caden yeah. Trask. Maddie Valencourt. Jackson Wiggins. What a great tradition that is, really, to have at this community. So uh, keep this up. Our next presenters will be Mr. Selwood, board chair, to present some state champion medals. And if Mr. Watts is here as well, please join him. when the ladies from the class of 73 spoke about how long it's been since they've been here. And then it occurred to me, it's like, all right, I've been on the school board as long as you guys have all been alive. So, so that was a little scary thought. But then that was the segue that I want to put out there for all of you. It's a challenge. It took a lot of people, a lot of work to get to where you are today. Parents, teachers, coaches, and such. Um, but beyond that, it goes beyond that, whether it's coaches you had 
when you are doing um, youth sports or Boy Scouts or whatever it happened to be, whether they organized a bottle drive to help raise funds for what you're doing. What I'd, I'd like to challenge you all is get out there and get back to your community in one way, shape, or form. It took a lot of people to make the community what it is and provide uh, what you were able to uh, garner from Winslow and and I just want to encourage people to do that. There's not enough people out there volunteering to do the things that need to be done and some of the, the things are suffering because of that because people need to get out there and volunteer and jump in and help make the community what it is. So uh, again congratulations to the graduates. Great job. So we didn't really have this on the agenda because we never know if it's going to happen or not, but we've done it a few times now, so I guess maybe we ought to put it on the agenda. Um, we usually award these uh, medallions at our school board meetings, but since we don't have one before graduation and we want to make sure the awards get uh, worn at graduation, we do these at class night for those last minute awards. So in this case we have one, um, it would be Allie Kimball. Next will be Mr. Burgoyne presenting athletic awards. The following athletic awards are voted on by the coaches. First of all, we have the Babe Ruth Sportsmanship Award, which will be collected, collected to two deserving seniors that exemplify, exemplify Babe Ruth, whose contributions to American youth will live forever. The recipients of the Babe Ruth Sportsmanship Award are Tim Lesser and Kylie Hernandez. Jason Reynolds and Allie Kimball. Andrew Poon and Nevaeh Dukosi. <laughs> the 
Dome A. Masterson Athletic Award for outstanding contribution to athletics based upon sportsmanship, dedication, loyalty, and citizenship is awarded to Emma Mishu and Jared Newgard. through outstanding qualities of character, sportsmanship, ability, and the school spirit. The recipients this year are Jackson Weekend, Sabrina York. Nixon Scholar Athletic Award is presented to two students who have contributed to the school's school of both academics and athletics, have high, high moral standards, good character, leadership, sportsmanship, loyalty, and good citizenship. The recipient of the Robert Nixon Scholars are Lucas Boucher and Noella Pepin. Association Award given to two deserving seniors who have demonstrated academic excellence in athletics, community involvement, and this year's recipients are Laney Bell and Brayden Lerman. Unfortunately, due to COVID, we didn't have a letter. This is the spring of one year, so we only had 11 varsity letters, which is the max, and only one athlete got it. Congratulations to Allie Kimball. Please come up.
Alright, so uh, senior class officers would like to recognize some teachers and some people that have been really helpful to us as a class. So I have the honor and privilege of thanking Coach Miss Beckwith. Ms. Beckwith is a local legend around here at Winslow High, not just from her resume as a coach and teacher, but also as a friend and to some a parental figure. Her room is viewed as a place where people can relax from the stress of life, and no matter the issue, Ms. Beckwith is always going to talk and help with whatever's going on in your life. The class of 2023 has a special appreciation for Ms. Beckwith, which is why we asked her to speak at graduation, and we're honored and privileged to say that she agreed to do it. So once again, thank you, Ms. Beckwith. The class of 2023 is grateful to have had you. for her donation of the graduation pieces as well as the chrysophanies. Mrs. LeClaire is a coach and assistant of the Unified Basketball Team. She is known for being kind and always helping the children. And I, was, I had the pleasure of being one of her students on the Unified Basketball Team. Thank you, Mrs. LeClaire. Tested our resilience. 
over the last four years. There's no question. We have weathered the storms of masking mandates, learning in cohorts, and living during unprecedented times. Yet in the face of adversity, we grow stronger and more determined than ever. We discover the power within ourselves, the power to overcome, the power to adapt, and the power to grow. So my wish for you is to continue to grow. Be sure to thank those around you. Those around you especially that helped you to overcome, adapt, and grow. And most importantly, tell them how you feel. So everybody make a heart, hands. Look at your family. <laughs> Selfie time. <laughs> and thank them. Congratulations. Class of 2023, it has been a privilege and an honor to be your advisor. Whether I was blessed enough to have you in a class, or you were in the greatest homeroom in America. Yeah! That's right. Say it loud and proud. <laughs> Mrs. Littlefield and I are extraordinarily proud of you, as is everyone in this room. And as you go out, you're going to hear a lot of stuff, a lot of things, and that's good. I thought I would throw my two cents in, and I promise it will only be two cents. Mr. Bell is extraordinarily nervous right now. <laughs> when you go out, it's an exciting time for you right now. You get a chance to reinvent yourself. You get a chance to go places where no one knows you. You get a chance to step into things that not a lot of people in this room get to do it. Embrace them. I encourage you to walk the walk. There's a whole lot of people in this world that talk the talk. They don't walk the walk. Keep your word. Keep your promises. If you have a work ethic, keep it. If you don't, find one. Remember, things like loyalty, compassion, friendship, and kindness never go out of style. Don't forget where you've come from. Whether it be this little town, whether it be your family upbringing. Don't forget from when she comes. Sometimes that's very difficult to do, but it's very important because it helps determine who you are in the moment, but who you will be going forward. Love big, love often. I have never met a single person has said, stop loving me so much. Make it a goal to be that person where someone says, stop loving me so much. Be that person that gives love unabashedly. You will sometimes be made fun of for that, and it is well worth it. You have been a joy to all of us, always will be. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you. Hi folks, that's it. Uh, let's give a big thank you to all the teacher, staff, and students that made this video happen.